Hi, this is my Ulanzi cage for the GoPro 10. Fits the 9 as well. So we're going to look at the cage and see how well it works with the GoPro because it does fit it extremely well. Very quick to use and open and place the camera in and take out, especially when it comes to replacing a battery and a memory card. So let's look at it in detail. There it is. On the front of the cage is a 52mm screw thread filter holder and as you'll see it's partly blocking the front monitor and I thought oh no when I first had it. Of course the filter holder is thankfully removable but yes it comes off easily. But with it on you can add filters just as a UV or a neutral density or close up lens or a bunch of close up lenses if you want to get in really close. I'll do a future video on these close-up lenses. That should be fun to see how close we can get in. Because you probably know with a GoPro, you can't get in much closer than about eight or nine inches or so from the lens because it will be somewhat soft. It's worth having a couple of these little quarter-inch threaded tripod screws adapters. Very useful. The cage, by the way, doesn't come with one. So this is a GoPro cage for the uh, GoPro 9 or the GoPro 10, which is the one I've recently purchased. Now I actually bought this about three weeks before getting the actual uh, GoPro 10. And that's because I knew it was going to take a few weeks to get here. And obviously as soon as I've got it, I want to be out and about shooting with it. But this little cage is brilliant. As you can see, it's got two cold shoes. Uh, so you can fit a mic and a light together separately. It's got the bay below for uh, taking the, the brick, as it's known, the uh, GoPro audio converter. And then you plug your mic into the other end. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's a lot easier to put the camera in here than the previous models. So let's have a further look. Okay, before placing the camera in, you need to release both doors, the back door and the side door. Both doors have buttons that you slide to the right to unlock. The rear door is the flimsiest part of the cage and the side battery door needs to be hinged down. Once in, close the doors. Then feed through the audio converter's USB-C cable. Notice the moulded container is somewhat shorter than the brick, but at least it's a tight fit and won't slide out, hopefully. <laughs> the USB-C goes into the USB slot on the camera. So now it's all set up, all you need to do now is plug your microphone in, which is the other end. So we'll grab the little Saramonic, yep, and just plug that in there, and away you go. And that doesn't obstruct the field of view, although I haven't tried it with super view, <laughs> but then super view I, I rarely ever use anyway, ultra wide angle. View, yeah, wide sometimes, but mostly it's in one of the linear modes on this camera, so yeah. Of course, you could use other mics, such as the Rode Micro, but its dead cat is huge and smells a bit too, which you don't really need outdoors, I guess, in windy weather, but it will intrude into the field of view unless the mic is raised up somewhat, at least two or three inches above the cage. One solution is to add the light, like this Ulanzi VIJIMVL81 video light. It has three cold shoes, so more accessories can be added <laughs> to the sides. So now the mic's well clear of the lens. This light coming with three, no less than three cold shoes, one on the top, means I can now mount a road mic if I wish and then yeah plenty of clearance from the lens to the mic a bit of a bulky setup to take it out and about but um, <laughs> yeah but it works really well if you need additional light at the same time but now it's bulky and prone to damage so I'll stick to my little ceremonic sometime in the future I'm going to go for a radio mic system which will be a lot more flexible too to add a compact light, you'll need either something like an Aperture or this Ulanzi, which is fab as it's slightly more powerful than the Aperture, has variable colour output from 3200 to 5600 Kelvin, which is tungsten to daylight, and it features three cold shoes, so you can add even more bits and pieces to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it, and it goes to prove, well, for me anyway, that this is a great vlogging tool. Really is a great setup now. Perfect for out in the field, even indoors. GoPro, stop record. <laughs> GoPro, start recording. Yes. I can even see myself. Bit blurry because I haven't got my glasses on. But anyway, 
So please bash the bell to get further notifications of forthcoming videos. All I've got to say now is to wish you a very happy new year. And let's hope 2022 is a heck of a lot better than the last previous two years. Yeah, it's actually New Year's Eve today. So once again, happy new year and I'll see you next year. From tomorrow onwards, that is. Take care. All the best. Bye for now. And cheers. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording.